Hello and welcome to episode three of my Getting to Know Todoist series. Today I'm going to give you a little treat. Today is more of an advanced feature, but I think it's a feature that's actually very easy to implement and to get set up, and it's called the Tickler file. The Tickler file is something that you will have read about if you've read Getting Things Done book by David Allen, published in 2001. And basically what it is, is a, originally what it was, was a system of 43 physical folders. 12 of them would have the name of the month, month, January, February, March, April, May, etc. And then 31 individually numbered files. Basically what you did was, any pieces of mail that came in that you were not ready to make a decision on, but you wanted to be reminded of in the future, you would place them in the corresponding file. So, for example, if today's date is in January, we're on January the 16th today, so I would have January and then the numbers behind it, and on the 16th is today, so I would pull out that file and I would see the things I wanted to be reminded of today. Sounds complicated, but it's really, really simple. But in the digital world that we all pretty much live in today, we don't necessarily have physical pieces of paper. For example, recently I returned from a trip to Europe, and when I booked my flights, all my flight information was supplied to me via email. I got PDF files and email messages. Now, to store those, I don't need them immediately. I booked my flight maybe six weeks before I flew. So I just saved the files as PDF files, put them in my Dropbox, and then created a tickler note in my Todoist to bring up those file data, that all those information, the day before I flew. Everything was there. I didn't have to worry about anything. So, sounds complicated, it really isn't actually, and I'm now going to show you in Todoist how to do that. So, let's get started. Right, let's get started creating a Tickler file over here in Todoist. So, here's my Todoist uh, application, open and ready to go. If you remember from episodes 1 and 2, I've already created two projects, one for work and one for home. And the first thing we're going to need to do to create our Tickler file is to create a new project. So add project and call this Tickler. Now, I always put my Tickler file in capital letters and I'm going to give it, uh, I don't want it to be the same as work, so let's give this purple and add the project. Now, what I like to do is have my Tickler file on top simply because when I'm dragging and dropping it just makes things easier. So, what do we put in our Tickler file? So, let's say I got this poster uh, offering me a business English class. Actually, I'm teaching this one. Uh, but let's just imagine I was a student who actually got this flyer through my mail. And I wanted, thinking, right, OK, I'm not ready to start it this month, but perhaps I will st think about starting it next month. So, in our Tickler file, we'll add task. And if you remember from episode one, setting up projects, always begin a task with a verb. However, what I do with Tickler uh, f tasks is I always begin the task with Tickler. The reason is, is when I see it in my today list, this is going to stand out. So, starting with a verb, consider joining this class. And I want to consider doing that, say, on the 25th of January. So, there we go. Now, another quick tip that you can have for um, your tickler file is, I would suggest you put a time. And the time should be the same for every tickler. So in this case, I usually wake up about six o'clock. So let's start this at 6 a.m. I want to see this when I wake up. So there we go. This is set for 6 a.m. on the 25th of January. And the other thing I will always do with a tickler file is make it urgent. I want these at the top of my to-do list. Now, the flyer. <clears throat> 
Now, you can put the flyer into Dropbox. You can create a folder in your Dropbox or your Google Drive uh, called Tickler, if you wish, and you can just directly link to that particular file. So, for example, I actually have this flyer in my Dropbox account, and I can click on my files, and I have that in business, FCB, and I can go into here, and there you go. I've got my FCB poster uh, it should be in here somewhere. Actually, I've taken it out of the file. But anyway, I could create anything from here. I can create, I can click on that and it will link to my Dropbox. However, in this case, I've got the flyer on my desktop. So I'm just going to drag the flyer into here. What it will do now is this will upload to Todoist's servers and it will uh, be there. So when it comes to the day and I have my tickler file comes up on day one, on the 25th of January, I can click on this and then I can click on my poster just to remind me and it will open up the file. And it's reasonably quick and there we go. I have my folder just as my reminder. So I find tickler files are really useful. Um, so consider joining this class. Other ones are, um, so another one would be uh, purchase new uh, iTunes card for uh, Apple Music and again I want to do that on the that probably needs to be done on the 1st of February so 1st of February at 6 a.m. and I will flag that as red so what you see is these are not coming up just yet and I don't think we're going to come up in the next seven days no they're not maybe I should have chosen a day however when these come up on your to on your day view, first of all, you will see the tickler. Uh, I've got ticker, but you'll see tickler file, so it stands out at the very top, and you'll see what you need to do. So remember, start all tasks with uh, the verb, so in this case, consider or purchase. And with Apple Music, I could send a link to apple.com in here which would give me the note. I don't have to do that. I have that already saved in my Safari. So tickler files are so, so useful. And if you get a physical piece of paper reminding you to pay your gas bill or electricity bill, just take a quick photo of it and then drag the photo into Todoist. Todoist can handle it. And there you go. You can just set the date and time. But key things to remember with tickler files. Tickler tasks. First one is always set a time, and the second one is always flag it as an urgent. You want to see these first thing in the morning because the very purpose of a tickler is to remind you. It's going to tickle your brain to remember to do something. It's not a work task, they're not necessarily home tasks, but they're just there to give you a little reminder to think about something. And once you've done it, you can, of course, you can just click them off and they're done. So that's setting a particular file. Really, really useful because it's surprising how many things that you're not ready to make a decision on just yet, but you want to make a decision in the future. So there you go. That's as simple as it is. So in episode one, we set up the projects. In episode two, we just went through a few of the ways of using labels. And speaking of labels, with your tickler file, a good one possibly would be, let's just go back See if we can put those back. Let's just put one in. Uh, consider joining this class and 25th February at 6 a.m. And what we're going to do is just set up a label for this uh, because another good re another good thing is for when you're doing your weekly review. Don't worry, that's coming up uh, in the near future. So at Tickler. And so we now created a tickler label. And if we go back into our labels, you'll see it's not there. <laughs> it's not there yet, but it will be because we've got it here. So I can tick on there. There we go. We have tickler. It's here. And that means that you can actually just quickly check your tickler file when you're doing your weekly review to see if anything's coming up or possibly if anything's changed. So there you go. That's setting up your tickler file. Good luck with your productivity. I hope you're getting a lot of good use out of Todoist. 
and I hope this little tutorial on setting up a tickler file is really useful for you. So, until episode four, that's me signing off, so goodbye.